What's poppin' everybody? We are here. Okay, TCGO, relax. Um, what's poppin'? How y'all doing? <clears throat> oh, we got one dislike. That was quick. Pop out chat. Boom. Let's see who's here. Let me also tweet out that I'm streaming. Oh, there's our like. There we go. Shout out to you, big dog. Um, Simone will follow me. What's up, Simone? Oh, he's apparently a graphic designer. I gotta see what he's all about later. Jeff, what's poppin'? Jeff, how you doing, man? Um, we live. Boom. Tweet that out. Let me put on Discord. Somebody tagged me in something. What time will you stream tonight? Not sure if I can make it, but I'll do if you if read chapter 5. Oh, I gotta read chapter 5 for Nebby. Uh, let's go to announcements. We are live. Boom. Alright, let's take a look here. Alright, cool. Flame Dog, hey, it's been a while. Have you been? Dude, Flame Dog, long time no see, bro. It's, I've been alright. How you doing, man? Okay, so. I want to do something. I want to deck build for the new format. What's up, KC? And the deck I want to build right now is Noivern. Actually, I should probably do expand it because I'm probably going to play Scooper Scoop Up. Turtle Merge from the new platform. Gavin Italian Turtles, what is up, my people? Uh, let me do this in expanded. So I want to play Noivern GX. Doing pretty good, my man. Hey, it's good to hear, Flame Dog. Let me actually open up. We're going to go back and forth between some things. But uh, I just recorded today some Gardevoir versus Galissapod GX, of course. So that's probably going to go up tomorrow. What I have to ha what has to happen tonight is that I'm probably going to make the stream a little bit shorter than usual. Why is it all right? I don't know. Swimming Swamper. As soon as I sh uh, as soon as soon I looked up the stream, somebody disliked the stream. So somebody's a hater. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Um... What was I saying? What was I saying? I, I played today Galissapod versus Gardevoir. I played both versions of the deck. I recorded two matches, so you're gonna have a video, hopefully if everything goes well tomorrow, a deck video over Galissapod, a deck video over Gardevoir, and then another match the day after that. So you're gonna get four videos, four days of videos. That's the goal. Um, so I really, really like that, and I wanna do that again. So I'm thinking about building Noivern versus Muck. Two other new decks that are definitely playable in this new format. Um, so what I want to do is build a Noivern deck. I'm very happy with the Glispod deck and the Gardevoir deck I built, just based on that little bit of testing that we did. Of course, there's always going to be room for improvement, but but uh, I was I was I, I, they both played really well. They, I won with each deck against the other one. I played against my buddy Joseph and Devin, both good players. Um, and shout out to Joseph too, because I was able to copy his actual Japanese cards. So we have really good scans of cards, so they're really good. They're really easy to see. But what I wanted to look at was Noibet. I want to see what Noibet did. Analyze the suspect who is new. <laughs> nope, everyone, everyone, I'm sure if he left the dislike, he probably just left. Um, let me see this Noibet card. If I can find it, here it is. Agility, 10 damage to Pokemon. If during your hit points next turn, prevent all effects of attacks, including damage into this Pokemon. So uh, 50 HP is fairly low HP. I have to find Noibets. But I have Noivern's now. What's up, Proto? It's okay. Let them dislike. Every every like and dislike supports the stream, so it's okay. It doesn't matter to me if they dislike or like the stream. What's up, Proto? How you doing, big dog? So I want to build Noivern. Apparently all Noibets have 50 HP. I have to find my Noibets, is, is essentially what this means. <laughs> Uh, oh, this one has 60 HP, and this one's legal, so I'm probably going to play this one. I'm going to place this card in energy, attach your opponent's active Pokemon. This is actually a good one, too. I have to find these. Champion Orange said first. <laughs> hey, Nebby. What's up, Nebby? Um, yeah, I'm probably going to play these. I, the other one has agility, but I like discarding energies a lot, so I'm probably going to go with this one. Um, we're going to play four Noiverns. Apparently, I don't have four Noiverns, so we're just going to pretend like I have four of these. All right. Oh, what does Noivern do? Let me actually show you guys. Um, 
Let me pull it up here. Um, give me one second. Uh, properties. Okay. So if I were to put Chrome, let me turn off TCGO for a second. It's gonna look a little bit weird, so ignore that for one second. Um, there we go. Oh, it doesn't look weird at all. So here's Neuvern. It has agility. Oh, let me show you guys. Um, flip, uh, flip a coin. If heads during your opponent's per, during your opponent's next turn, prevent all effects of attacks, including damage on this Pokemon. That's pretty handy. And then Neuvern is a pretty good Pokemon too. Has two really good attacks going for it. Um, here's Neuvern GX, 200 HP. Uh, Distort does 50 damage during your opponent's next turn. Your opponent can't play any item cards from their hand. Uh, let me actually make that. You should be able to see that, right? From right down there. Cool. It's weird because I have all the other things. And then Sonic Volume, or Sonic, hold on, I'm at it. Sonic Volume, 120 damage during your opponent's next turn. Your opponent can't play any special energy cards from their hand. And then Boom Burst GX, this attack does 50 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. So, I want to play this with Golbats, or yeah, with Golbats. I don't know what else I would play it with though, because like the damage spreading is good. It, it's kind of weird because Acerola is a thing and Acerola is really good. Hey, or I love the new platform in your last video. Hey, great. My new platform here. I have to read Nebby's thing today. Tree Tear, uh, Tree Tay, Tayer, Tree, tree Tier, my name, Jeff. <laughs> Bro, I think the Northern GX would be kind of good for locals. I think so. Please read chapter five. Yes, have I read chapter four? I did read chapter four. We'll be reading. We'll be reading chapter five. No worries. I'll flying flip you too. I can't. I can't GX attack. Yeah, you can play like you could play Coco in the deck, but but you have to play DC if you play Coco, and then the Neuvern attacks with um, no DC. It's just Psychic and Dark, which is awkward because we don't have Double Dragon anymore. Oh, my readers want me to watch these streams. What's up, Gyro Physics? Um, but I definitely want to play Golbats because we have super scoop ups. So I want to play for you, and I want to play for you, which is a good one. Astonish, um, skill dive, this 10 damage on your punch Pokemon, and then Astonish says what? Just random card from the bonus hand. Yeah, we're gonna do a skill dive. Add, 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 add. Um, yeah, we'll do that. We'll of course play our Lele's. Probably three. No, we're not gonna have bench space for three. You're gonna mess yourself, forgive me. go. Alright. Are you blue today? A. Hey. Does no double dragon instantly make dragons less viable? Yeah, absolutely it does. <laughs> it 100% does. But uh, we, we're going to have to manage somehow. Um, so being able to hit for 50 plus damage from here is pretty good. Um, the second attack is also good. We have to run psychic and dragon and dark energies. Is there any Pokemon I like that uses Psychic or Dark Energies off the top of my head? I don't think so. What Dark and Psychic Pokemon come in this set? Um, we have Darkrai, but Darkrai isn't something I'd probably play in this deck. Um, oh, apparently you can't zoom in on it, so that's exciting. Weavile's pretty good. Um, that spreads more damage. 60 damage to every Pokemon with abilities. That might be useful. But there's no baby or smaller Pokemon that can abuse the attacks and then psychics I don't th I think it's the same way um, so Viper I guess but that I still rather ooh what if I make it poison no because you can't spread damage everywhere you want to spread damage everywhere what does Slowking do drift ashore hold on let me see drift ashore search your deck for a card put into your hand 110 damage. If you have no cards in hand, this Pokemon can use this attack even without the energy to require it. That's really cool. What is it? I've never seen this card. That's really dope, actually. That might be a fun deck to play. I'm gonna have to play something like that later. Like Octillery with Slowking. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Um, but that, that's beside the point. Let me go ahead and bring up the TCGO. There we go. 
I'm trying Nine Tails GX Post rotations. I'm loving it. I've been playing a little bit myself. I feel like it's not going to be as good as it was right now, but because just because dark decks like Gardevoir and and um, Ghost Spot are really really good. What is popping? Tell me, Spiral. What is popping? Check the um. So I'll put out PMU laptop to watch streams and other things on. Also, we can't see what you're doing. Yeah, I've been that swamp for good luck. I think Marshall might be one of the best cards in the set. It's really good, but just not yet. We don't have any cards that can really abuse it right now. Yeah, I'll be reading chapter five today, for as long as everything goes well today. Um, as far as this goes, I don't know what else I would add to the deck. Like any like dark, I guess you could add, add Eveltal, right? I like Eveltal, I'm gonna add Eveltal, because I can charge things up. Um, it's a nice, it's a decent lead. We have our stadium, which is the, um, just, uh, what's it called? Add two of those. The stadium, the altar of the moon. And then filters, psychic, basic. Um, I don't know what else I would add to the deck. Hold on, let me go all the way back to the front. Chapter five. Oh, it, it, there's, it's like a little mini series we have on the channel. Where my past couple of streams, we've read a chapter of Nebby's story. If you want to catch up on the story, it's in the Discord. Nebby has his own Discord where he has it as well. I, I, I don't really read it as often. It's because you know there's other things that we can do, but it's fun to read regardless. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I can add to the deck, and there doesn't seem to be anything psychic-wise. I guess I could add. Um, Wobbuffet, if I want to be that guy. I don't want to add too many things. I'm just trying to think of potential Pokemon that could help out, and I'm not seeing anything that could really help out. Not you. Nobody clicked on you. This is also expanded, so I'm looking at a lot of things. Let me actually filter this to just standard. There's a lot less Pokemon this way. <laughs> Look at that. Um, it's annoying because it's not the new standard, but not too much of a difference. Oh, we can devolve. That's a thing that. Oh, that's a thing we could potentially do, do with Espeon. Um, but other than that, I'm not really seeing much we can do in this deck. Yep. So as far as Pokemon goes, this is probably going to be it. Ty uh, Tychus, what's up, bro? Yo, that sounds like straight fire, pretty much. Check your PM. The hi the Hyper Sponge Punch Hoopa can spread damage. I was thinking the same thing, but like, I don't like it. Like, I'd rather play Coco, because it has the same energy attack cost, I think. Uh, oh no, it's one, but it's only doing 20. Like, I'm, I don't, I don't, I feel like that's unnecessary. It might be, it might be something worth trying, but for now I think it's unnecessary. Because we're going to be using Oblivion Wings a turn we're not using the item lock attack. So, that's something to keep in mind. As far as trains go, we need to have four Super Scoop up in the deck. And, um, that's for sure. The thing is, do I want the evolution sprays? I don't know if I do. I want Alter the Moon. I'm gonna be able to switch around to my leisure. I think I might want puzzles. Is that the obvious stuff? Four Sycamores. Four N. What do you guys think we should add to the deck? You think I should buy a case or just order singles? I think in this set, maybe order singles. I, I kind of want a case because I want to pull the Hyper Rare Charizard. Once I pull the Charizard, I think I'm done buying packs in general. I'm just going to buy the single stuff. What cards do you think will be good from Burning Shadows if the rotation didn't happen? Ooh, that's tough. What cards from Burning Shadows would have been good without with the with rotation? Probably that Slow King. <laughs> that Slow King looked kind of crazy. Um, if I take a quick stroll through the cards, uh, Raichu. No, because it doesn't really change anything. Mm, I don't know actually. I think what's good would have been good, and what's bad would have probably been bad as well. I'm taking a look through. I think I think Weavile would have been even better because being able to two KO Shamans with your attack is really really good. But um, I'm not too sure. Weavile, Weavile definitely would have been better. 
Ooh, Necrozma would have been amazing. I'll tell you that much right now. Necrozma would have been amazing because then Rayquaza is still a menace and then you'll be able to block Rayquazas if rotation didn't happen. But this is all like banter, like none of this really matters. So yeah, that's that's what I think. Um, but what else do we add to this deck? We have to add Ultra Balls. Evolve? I don't know what that means. <laughs> but how is the stream looking? I actually have to check the stream. I haven't checked in a bit. Do we have 13 likes? Go ahead and drop a like if you haven't already, people. We have 21 viewers, 13 likes. Um, yeah, that works. And then I want to add, I think, I think I want to add 12 energies. I think. It's, this is tough because this one's going to take actual practice to make good because I don't know what the best way to play it is yet. Seven of those. Five psychics. I think that's how I'm going to rock What's your attack? Supercross? You don't even have an energy cost. Psychics are good because of... Um, actually, you know, I'm going to bring it down to four psychics. Psychics are good because you can also attack with Lele. Which is good for healing. But you don't need that many psychics. It's only good for that secondary attack, which you're not going to use as often. Okay, so you want to play Ace Arolas. And you want to play Guzmas. You going to a brand? I'm going probably to one or two. Since I got you get boxes early. Oh, dope! By the way, guys, remember <laughs> if you guys want to once again, I know you guys. A lot of guys, a lot of you guys were amazing um, in the last set. If you guys want to help me with this pre-release again or with this master set again, it's gonna be greatly appreciated because once again. <laughs> it's gonna take me a while to finish this match set. There's 41 ultra rares or better. Just so frustrating. That's a, that's more than Guardians Rising. And then there's this Charizard that's annoying. I only want one, of course. But I, then I, there's also the fact that I want to have three Guzmas and three Acerolas at the minimum. And then I want to have two Rescue Stretchers, uh, Secret Rares. It's it's a mess. This is gonna be really hard. That's why these streams you, you do them all. I'm closing the office. Dope. <laughs> that's awesome. I'm not right now. What's up, Lucas? Right now, we're building Noivern GX, but this is like post rotation Noivern. So, we're just kind of messing around with uh, what the deck is going to look like. Because I'm trying to figure out what I want to combine with it. And my, my first thought is Golbats with Super Scoop Up. That's my first thought. I'm not too sure how well, how much I like it. Yeah, there's way too many rares in this set. It's actually ridiculous. Um, okay, Lysanders are going to represent. Are going to represent Guzma. So I'm probably going to play three of these. Acerola, I'm not too many sure how many I'm going to play. Because you would only Acerola the, the Noiverns. But if I'm... I don't know. I don't, it, it's, it's, it's a tough call. I'm just going to put down three for now. I mean, we have space for two more cards. What would you play? Bridget? Of course you have to play Bridget. I don't know why I forgot it. And then you play Rescue Stretcher. I'm probably going to cut down the Acerola account. Do you play Super Rod? I don't think you play Super Rod. I think you don't. I don't think you. Oops. I think you need to play Super Rod. Oh, no. I, I'm already playing four Scoop Ups. But I, you have to put as many like Retrieval cards back into your hand. The thing is, I want Scoop Ups to only be used on the Golbats. But... I'm, I want to play the ace rolls for these guys and like all of these guys right here. I think. Oh, Lucas, hold on, Lucas. You might. Oh man, you might be up to something, Lucas. Playing Po Town sounds genius. Should we do Po? I mean, we're gonna damage ourselves, but do you think that's bad? I mean. We only have 200 HP. Maybe that's not the best idea. Because I, I think Po Town's a busted card, personally. Um, I th like, 
I think Potown's broken. Think about like Potown in your Greninja matchup. You play down the Gre you play down the Potown. By the time your Greninja evolves all the way up to Greninja Break, they took they take 90 damage. <laughs> Uh. Ooh, that was good. Mm, I I kind of want to do it, but it seems bad because it's easy to it's it's a little bit more difficult to hit 200 than it is 170. Yeah, eight gold bats HP doesn't matter. That's true, but I'm I'm more worried about Noivern because you want to play Po Town ASAP, but Noivern's HP does matter. I don't know if I like it because you're gonna ha you want to you want to retreat. I mean, Golbat does have free retreat though. What's Noivern's retreat cost? Let me check the uh, the set real quick. Noivern, where are you at? Here you are. Noivern's retreat cost is. What's it looking? Oh god. Noivern's retreat cost is free. You don't even need po. You don't even need this card. <laughs> uh. Oh man, <laughs> that makes me want to do things. That makes me not want to play Beltal. So Noivern GX with 200 HP, free, uh, free retreat, two energy attacker. We need choice bands in the deck before I forget those, actually. Almost forgot them. Why did they make this? It's a broken card. Luckily, there's not too many items in the format. Like, look at our deck right now. This is actually a lot of items compared to what a lot of decks are playing nowadays. So it's not going to be doing too much. Not until they release a broken item card is it going to matter too much. Super Cross is a good attack, too. Uh, Rescue Stretcher is good. I wish I could donate. Oh, I appreciate that. Like just the fact that you would that you would want to donate means the world to me, bro. <sighs> po Town looks like a lot of fun, but then like, what would you what would you replace Po Town with? You see what I mean? It just it it sounds like fun, bro. Oh man, I really want to do it, but I don't know what I would put in its place. I don't know what I would do. What do you guys? Let me give me give me your suggestions, guys. People in the comments sounds below. I'm looking at you, Tekken. Let me know what you guys think as well, because like I don't know exactly how I want to build this deck. Um, I I just don't know. I could play like Plumeria and stuff. That could be a thing. Like just disruption. I think I missed something. What does Potan do? Oh, Potan. Let me let me tell you guys. When it's a stadium card, right? Whenever a player plays a Pokemon from their hand to evolve on their Pokemon, put three damage counters on that Pokemon. So let me actually copy paste it as well, so that way you guys can see it in the chat. I tried Toad Decidueye. It's a broken card. Like, Potown is actually stupid good in this format. It's just hard to find a deck to play it, because obviously your own evolution deck can't play it. We could drop Eveltal, because Eveltal has, it seems like a liability, since everything else has free retreat anyways. Mm, it's a tough card. It's a, it's a tough call, if anything. And with Field Blowers, which we don't have, we should probably play some Field Blowers. Yeah, I'm really tired, guys. I don't know if you can tell. Let me go to my fur review because apparently I don't know what's in the, what's in what's in Pokemon right now. I could play hammers, but it doesn't seem like fun. E hammers seems like seems like a good idea though. I'm just gonna throw deck cards in the deck to do two e hammers. We definitely want to play two field blowers at least. Yeah, we got it. Two field blowers. Have you noticed deck out is coming soon? What's deck out? I like the Potown idea too, but like I don't know how much I like the Potown idea. How many parallels do I have? Because these could reference. I'm gonna just throw these in here. Imagine these referencing Potown. Champion Festival or Chaos Tower are good stadiums. 
Are those those aren't legal though? Are they legal? What's Chaos Tower do? Um, purview. Is that the? Oh yeah, it's this one. It's the one that doesn't prevents confusion and sleep and paralysis and all that stuff. Yeah, that's not too good in our deck though. Um, What is Champion Festival? Did my thing freeze? No, it didn't. Alright, cool. Champion. Oh, Champion Festival. I don't have these cards. Once during your turn, if that player has six Pokemon in play, he or she may heal 10 damage from each Fizzer or Pokemon. Not too good in our deck either. Especially, again, that's really good for, your, for our opponent. And we don't want to help out our opponent at all. But what's up, Mini UK, bro? How's it been? So if we cut the Potown count, right? And if we were to play the Tech Potown for fun, we would have to get a turn one. Um, and then... I'm just not seeing Potown... Potown seems fun, but I'm not seeing it being terribly useful. Because like, if we play Potown, we'd have to cut the Acerolas, but then we're losing the point of Potown, because the point of Potown is to make Acerolaing easier. Um, and I don't want to lose Super Scoop Up, because that just adds the effect of the deck. Hmm. It's, it's a tough call. It's a really tough call. But I think these are the cards you are going to want to play. Thank you guys, by the way, for the 18 likes. Go ahead and tweet out the stream. Uh, share the stream and stuff like that. We have 16 people here. It's always greatly appreciated. Um, I have to get rid of five cards. I like Enhance Hammer as well. It's good in the Gardevoir matchup and we're weak to fairies. Of course, I think we just lose the Gardevoir matchup, but they do well. But they turn off their rare candies, which is huge. The ability to turn off opponents' rare candies is pretty big. Don't you have to pick a winner for Shea? Oh, I guess I can do that today. We'll probably do that closer to the end of the stream if I do do that today. And there's no room for Octillery in this deck, too. But luckily, you have that GX attack to finish off late game things. If you're always scooping up and putting stuff back down, you are always healing while making it tough for your opponent to have a full bench and you're knocking him out. Yeah, but that's you're not I I guess. But you're not but you're not healing enough because the, like you're already going to full health with with Acerola and Super Scoop up. You don't need to heal with the Champion Festival. Uh, cuz your goal is you're always going to have big, good enough health. Got to go. I have work early tomorrow. Have a good rest of my stream, my man. Where is Irene? I don't know, man. This man disappeared. Next time you guys see him, tell him that we miss him. So what five cards are we losing? We have to keep these. Because... Well, do we lose to Garb? We might lose to Garb. But I think... Because we're hitting for 50, we 3 at KO. And then if we hit for our second attack, which I believe does 80, we 2 at KO. Let me double check the damage. So maybe we don't need two field blowers. How much are you hitting for in that second attack? You're hitting for 120. That's actually an Oko. If you can pull off the second attack, that's an Oko. So I think we're going to cut out a field blower. Definitely cut one enhanced hammer. I need to have the 4 4 line for draw support. Oh, whoops. What just happened? That was weird. We're going to luck like once a month. <laughs> I mean, I think he got mad of bringing me too much luck, bro. That's why I haven't pulled anything crazy lately. What about Lily for one Sycamore? I don't like that. I'm I'm, an, I'm not the biggest fan of Lily Index. Like I get you can Lily for Lily in one for uh, Lay. I can you can Lily for Lele turn one and play the Lily, but it's not consistent enough and it never draws you enough cards. I'd rather just Sycamore most of the time. When do you think you're gonna move to Twitch for streams? Whenever my dude finishes making my art, um, he said he'll get to it soon. So my boy Shadikin, he's a great guy. He actually made my a couple of my layouts before, and I like his and I like his work. So I'm waiting on him. What three cards should we remove, guys? I think we remove the Potowns. Should we remove the Potowns? We could also remove the Choice Bands. Keep like a one of Potown. 
I, the energy count of 12 I feel very comfortable with, so I don't want to change that at all. Um, I like the three Acerola and the three Light and the three Guzma. Bridge is important. I want to have a 4 4 line so I have as many as possible. Yeah, I think I'm going to do a 1 of Potown. How about that? The 1 of Potown tech. I'm not playing Octillery, so I don't want to remove any draw support. I want to be drawing as much as possible. Shuffle drawing specifically, so I don't want to lose an N. I can't wait till we get a new Shuffle draw card, but we're going to try this. Sure. Um, Noi, Burn, GX, Post. Alright, so there's Noi, Burn. Now the next deck I want to build is a Lolan Muck. So let's build that. One of Poe, not bad. Just have the just have the option. Exactly, my boy knows. Proto knows. Now we're, cool. we're gonna build Nut Muck now. Alolan Grimer. Uh, there, these are all gonna be the Dark Grimer. We're just putting these in here for now. Then we have Muck. Uh, we're gonna do one of these because I am gonna play a one of these, and I'm gonna play three of the GX ones. So keep that in mind. These are GXs. And these are the one of regular art. I do like this card. It turns off Lele's, and that's always strong. Speaking of Lele's, we're going to play three, three to two of Lele, standard. And then we're going to play Salandit Salazzle. How many? I'm not too sure. I'm going to put four, four for now. I don't know if that's what I'm going to stick with. And I think a one Evel Tall. Because O-Wing is just too good. Especially with the burn confusion. Extra damage. When we get the aura playmats, um, hopefully soon. I'm waiting for the guy to respond to me. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to find a new artist. If any of you guys know any good artist, uh, let me know because I'm gonna have to work on that. I'm gonna have to work on finding a new guy, because the guy that I have right now, he's not responding at all. Which just sucks. I could play a one of Darkrai because his GX attack is an Oko, so I'm probably gonna do that as well. So we'll do like a one of Darkrai GX, and I think that's gonna be the Pokemon line. And then we just do standard dot deck stuff. So we're gonna do. We need to have choice bands. Choice bands are really important in this game, actually. So I'm gonna play four. Um, Oh, bro, I can give you R for a bucket playmat. All right, bro. None of this right now. <laughs> Let's make sure that we're filtered to our review because I don't know what else we would play besides Altar of the Moon. No, Altar of the Moon is not even good in this deck because um, Muck's, uh, Muck's thing is four, I believe. Let me actually go back to the online thing so you guys can check it out. For those of you that don't know what Muck does, um, let me find it for you guys. Here it is. Alone and Muck is cool. First of all, it has some of the coolest artwork ever. Look at that artwork. That is dope. Um, and it has three interesting attacks. He's got Chemical Breath, 10 damage. Attack does 70 more damage for each special condition affecting your opponent's active Pokemon. So that's the main focus of the deck, is for hitting for 140 extra damage, meaning you hit for 150. Um, and then with Choice Band, it's 180. And with Poison Burn damage, it's 210. So you're going to be able to hit 210 every turn if you have a choice banded Alolan Muck after a Salazzle gets put down. So if you time those drops really well, you get a knockout most times, most turns, except in the mirror match, funny enough, because <laughs> Alolan Muck has 220 HP as a stage two, which is ridiculous. Crunch does 120 damage and discards one energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So it's a good it's a good attack to have for your Garbodor matchups because you Oko Garbs. And then Hazard GX is a free GX attack. Choose one of your opponent's bench Pokemon and switch it with their active Pokemon. The new active Pokemon is not poisoned, burned, and paralyzed. It's good if your opponent's running out of resources or like uh, late game they used up all their Guzmas or even early game and they're kind of stuck. They don't have any cards they can play. Try Yugi Mation. He's a Yu-Gi-Oh tuber, but he also makes mats. He made one for me for Yu-Gi-Oh. Does he make mats? Does he create art for mat? It's for Matt's Dragon Hero. I'm gonna look. I'll look him up if that's the case. Because if he creates art, that's what I want. Because I don't want to just take. If it's gonna be like an Orbomb Matt that I'm gonna sell to people, I want it to be 
I want it to be my own artwork that somebody can make for me. But I'll look up Yugi Mage. I'm actually going to look him up right now. And I'm going to I'm going to save his I'm going to save this for later. Hayes clan, what is this? <laughs> what is this shenanigans? Um Looking, things are looking dope. I'll favorite this and I'll take a look at this later. Are you using Deolusion Spray for that deck for the Salazzo Poison? I'm probably going to use Super Scoop Up. Um, I'm not too sure. Super Scoop Up is just safe because that way you can bring back your Salazzles or your Leles or even your damaged mucks. Uh, so I like Super Scoop Up more than Deolusion Spray most of the time. But like to me, as long as you can get off three attacks. Like, to me, like, the whole point of the deck, right, is that you can get off three knockouts because you're going to be knocking out GXs. And if you can get those knockouts, then you win. <laughs> so you don't need to use this more than, as often as people think you do. But back to trainers. Let me go ahead and just put the regular trainers in. I want someone to go, hey, cool, Matt, where is it from? And say, oh, it's from some garbage YouTuber. I couldn't find my good Matt. Dude, Nebby, you are a true friend. Play one of you. Uh, I believe Muck. Oh yeah, I was looking. I was looking at the thing too. Muck's retreat cost is four. So playing the thing, the stadium doesn't help. So anyways, back to this. Um, I want to Bridget, of course. The escape ropes are always handy in these kind of situations. We want field blowers. I think this deck we want too because of Garb. Of course, I'm not too sure how much I like two. We'll play two for the time being. Float stones. I don't know. I'll, I'll just put into it for now. I mean, we're gonna be taking out a bunch of things later, so no worries there. These are our Guzmas. We definitely want to play three Guzmas. Uh, Max looks are not a fan. We want to play four ends. Um, four of you, please. Mm, what else do we want to play? Four sycamores. Or I treat the same way I treat my real friends, so don't worry. Hey, that's good to hear. And even though you're streaming, you gotta love YouTube notifications. Patrick, my boy, what's popping? We're building decks for post rotation. Um, right now we're building we're building Alolan Muck. This is supposed to be the Alolan Muck GX, and this is the regular art. These are supposed to be the Dark Grimers. Um, this is supposed to be Dark Red GX, and this is supposed to be Guzma. So things to keep in mind. Rescue Stretcher. Do I want Rescue Stretcher in this deck? I think I might want to try it out. We definitely want our full Ultra Balls. Um, guess we'll just throw everything in for the time being. Um, we want our AZ for our Acerola. I think I'm going to play two, uh, three as well. Uh, but we'll see. Two, three. I want my super scoop ups. And we need to play a bunch of dark energies. I have to play 12 energies. We have to cut out the deck to make it to where 12 energies work. Um, the issue I have with playing DCE is that it's hard to get DCEs. <laughs> and it'll play dark. So the early game is probably going to suck for us, to be honest. Did you say scoop? I did say scoop. <laughs> but your deck contains, yeah, I get it. Okay. So. <clears throat> I'm trying to think. There's no crazy supporters you can add to decks that will help you get DCEs right now. Because teammates is gone. Um, Mallow, I guess, could help, but we don't have any like shamans or artilleries in the deck, so we don't have to worry about that. Orangaroo is not worth. Super scoop up is good. Then we just have to draw a bunch and hope for the best. And if we whiff all of our DCEs, well, we'll just cry together. Uh, I think that's the plan, to be honest. I'm thinking a chocolate filled donut and chocolate milk from Shipley's in the morning is in order. I might have to be with you there. Energy Lotto? I like the idea of Energy Lotto because this deck definitely needs it. But I'm not too sure where I would put it in. 
I think we can get rid of, um, if we're playing scoop up, we can get rid of this. Um, I definitely like the ace roll account, but I think I'm bumping down to two. So how's the mat going? I, I'm trying to contact new artist. I don't, the guy, the guy that, the guy's art, I really like this heart and I was really hoping he would contact me back, but I sent him three emails and I got no responses and I sent him a Twitter message as well, so he's clearly not around. Shippies Donuts are horrible versus Shippies Donuts are amazing. I've never had Shippies Donuts before, so, and I'm going, to, by the way guys, it's just in, the, in the description it tells you that there's a, there's a, a shorter stream today. I actually have to wake up in, what, six hours now? because I have to wake up to take my mom to the airport. So that's annoying, but I might get done with some way home. Who knows? So what would I drop? Do I drop float stones? Because I'm going to be choice banded the whole time, but I want float stones for this Salazzles. So I don't want to I don't want to attach energies to anybody I don't have to. Hmm. Oh, this is tough. This is a tough call. I don't want to lose my float stones. I want to add more if anything. But I also want to add energy lottos really bad. I think if I'm gonna play four scoop ups, I'm gonna drop a one line of Salazzle Land it. Drop a muck, should I play two I uh, know I don't wanna play only two alone and muck, I wanna have a three, just so we're good. If I'm gonna drop the energies, I wanna be able to add energy lotto add, if I'm I wanna be able to add an energy lotto or two. I want to also drop hmm, Reach out. I'm gonna read chapter five. Nebby, relax, bro. The more you ask me, the less often, the less chance, the, the smaller of a chance there is I'm gonna read it. Did she look at the message? She, this, this mess. This girl just checked me out. Um, this girl just uh, messaged me saying, "Hey, uh, are you free? To, are you free this weekend?" And I was like, "Yeah, I'm in the afternoon. What's up?" And she hasn't responded. Oh, so the reverses are GX. Yes, these are GX. These are. This is the regular art. What's up, Timmy? And I and I need you want to play the regular art if you can fit it in, just because Lele is a thing and Super Scoop is a thing now. I like it's hot, Mr. Friday. What's up, Timmy? And the vast live. He said, "Eh, what's up with you, bruh? How you doing?" I'm gonna drop a line of the hot poison. He's probably a dude. Who's probably a dude? Oh no, that's my buddy. That's my IRL friend. So I want to drop two more cards. One card being an energy and another card being a something. And then this is probably the deck that I'm probably going to play. Why you Veltal? Just because the attack cost of Muck is a little bit ridiculous. I just got back home from some Dungeon and Dungeon Dragons. Were you doing it as Space Cadets? Like this deck they do at Space Cadets, they do. Yeah, she's probably a dude, you're right. She's probably a dude. Um, I like Guzma, I like the 4-4 line of draw supporters because you need it. Unless you're playing Octillery, you definitely need a 4-4 line of draw supporters. I could remove the Dark Ride, but the Dark Ride GX gives you a free knockout if they're poisoned or if they're status conditioned. I'm trying to think. I could drop a Field Blower. I'm not a big fan of doing it, but I guess we can. Um... Of the streamer. Hey guys, thank y'all for dropping a like and subscribing and sharing and all that good jazz. Y'all are the real MVPs. You can play the flow stones to help muck retreat if needed. Yeah, that's why I'm playing them. I'm keeping them in. I guess I can drop one energy and put in an energy a energy lotto. Maybe like a one of energy lotto. I'm just afraid of running out of energies in the deck. Like seven is a scary number compared to eight. But I need it for the DC since fighting DCs are hard now. Why are there two dislikes? Somebody, as soon as I started the stream, disliked and left from the sounds of it. And the other person, I guess somebody just recently disliked. So I don't know. People, people be hating, but it's fine. Like the dislikes support the channel because it's because any like or dislike helps out. 
The only thing that dislikes do is like demotivate me, but it's fine. I'm okay. Yeah, I think this is gonna be the deck I try. And um, Pat, since you're late, let me actually show you the 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 Neuvern deck we built. Um, Alo Alolan Muck Post Rotation. Or about me use Puka's footage for your thumbnail? Well, I don't care. Do what you want. I use Puka's footage. What's Puka's footage? Who's Puka's footage? And I made my own thumbnail. Oh god, I need to make some decks for the next format, like Glisspot. Oh, you want to look at my Glisspot deck? It's, I tested it today, and it was really, really good. But let me show you guys Neuvern first. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe Pat has some things to say. Also, those grammars better be the new ones. Yeah, they're gonna be the new ones, of course. We just don't have them. Are there 26 likes? Because shout out to the viewers, bro. They're the best. So this is the Neuvern deck list, right? I'm probably, I'm gonna try to find these Neuverns because the Neuverns from the new set have 50 HP and this one has Mysterious Beam, which can discard energies, um, which is good. So I'm probably gonna use these Neuverns and these are gonna be the Neuvern GXs. I just don't have four copies of any of them. Um, Neuvern GX, we're gonna play 4-4 line. Two Lele's, we're playing a 4-4 line of Golbat. That's the card I'm choosing to combine it with um, just to get those knockouts. The only thing I'm worried about that makes this deck not great, and I don't feel like this deck's going to be great at all, is Ace Arola. And the fact that not a lot of people play too many items nowadays. Can you put that deck in Discord? I, I don't see a point in doing it, but you can just rewind the video and take screenshots, because if I put it in Discord, it's just going to show you this. It's not going to show you why my mentality about it. I'm going to unsubscribe. All right, I'm sorry, Gavin. But I hope you have a good life. Speaking of which... Dude, we're so close to 2,000 subscribers now. We're only 200 subscribers away, bro. That's so crazy. We're so close to 2,000. Who subscribed? The Vast Live HD. Hey, thank you for joining the Aura Army, man. Speaking of being close to 2,000, that is, oh, man. DCE? No, Northern doesn't attack with DCE. It attacks with Dragon, it attacks with Colorless, Dark, Psychic. Those are that's its attack cost for its second attack. Everything else is colorless and dark. Um, JK messing with you, love your vids. Well, Gavin, thank you. <laughs> um, but uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so I'm playing this enhanced hammer. I just like the disruption. That's the only card I'm feeling like I might take out. This is actually Parallel City, supposed to be a Po Town. Um, Lucas actually came up with this idea, and I really like the idea. Right, so. A one of Po Town is good because I think Po Town personally is a busted card. Every time somebody evolves, they take 30 damage. Imagine these stage two decks, uh, decks like Greninja that are really good, just taking us so much damage from uh, evolving. And since we want to spread damage all over the board, it's a good card. And even though we're damaging ourselves, by damaging ourselves, we're giving ourselves Ace Arola targets. So that's why I like the Po Town tech. We tried to fit in more, but that's as many as we could fit in to like be good. Um, one field blower. I wanted to play two, but we already Oko. Guard Garbodors with um, with the three energy attack anyways because also does 120 and stops them from attaching DCEs. Super scoop up is just for a standard, standard, standard. Uh, these are supposed to be um, Guzmas as you would expect. Four, four, three. Got to get eight dark, four psychic. The second attack takes a psychic type energy. Psychic type energy is good for Lele as well, but we don't need them. We need dark more than psychic. <clears throat> the vast live HD, my boy. I would unsub, but you lose mod stuff if you do. <laughs> Three Guzmas heavy, nah, dude. I was playing, um, I was playing, I was playing Galissapod and Gardevoir today, right? And, whew, it's so good. Although I do agree, it might be heavy in this deck, but I feel like I like it's a safe play for now because all of your Pokemon besides Lele have free retreat. Noivern and Golbat both have free retreat, so I like Guzma for the time being because it just helps with the stall. It helps with the stall that you're trying to accomplish. Um, and it just, you need those specific knockouts because you can hit 80 for a dark colorless. Don't think Norvin is going to be good. You don't win against Guardian. Now, here's my opinion on that. And I actually want to make a whole video on this. And I'm actually going to write this down in a notepad because I've, I've been meaning to do this, but I haven't had time. Um, the format is looking great. I'm super excited because think about it. Guardi is really good. I'm just going to start with Guardi because you mentioned Guardi. So Guardi is really good, right? But what beats Guardi? Guardi loses to Metagross, all right? Uh, Metagross is good because Metagross beats, um, Metagross beats uh, both Guardi and Garbodor. And Garbodor is gonna be good still because there's still a lot of items and there's still a lot of benefits to playing Garbodor, all right? But what beats Metagross, 
Volcanion beats Metagross. Um, Alright, and, Meta- and Volcanion is just a good deck in general. Alright, Volcanion beats so many different decks in the format. Alright, but what beats Volcanion? Nine Tails, Lapras, and Greninja. And Greninja also beats Metagross. <laughs> It also meets. It also beats Gardevoir. Uh, it has a 50-50 against Garbodor. Um, it Greninja beats all. Uh, Greninja beats all the Metagross, all the Volcanian decks. All right. Um, now what beats what beats um, Greninja and Lapras and has a good chance against Ninetales? Um, Galissapod. Galissapod beats um, Greninja and Lapras. And you know what beats Ninetales? Metagross. So you can see that we're just going on this full circle of different cards beating different decks that are all really good. And then there's other decks in the format too that are going to be good. I have a good feeling that um, Magnezone variants are going to be good. Um, because like after t- playtesting, this slow energy evolution and like I, I, I playtested a lot today. And I've been playtesting a lot lately. And slow evolution with like good effects is good. Garbodor is going to be good, of course. Um, Coco. Coco is a good deck. There's so many good decks out there that, don't, that aren't even encompassed in this in this thing I just talked about. Like, The format is so exciting because there isn't a best deck right now. And that makes things so, so great. That makes things so great. Um, why the Golbat? The Golbat just spreads damage uh, with its ability Sneaky Bite. And Supercross is a good attack as well if you're not attacking with Neubrin that turn for some reason. Or what is your most liked video? I don't know actually. I can check. I'm not good at making decks. Can you make a Raichu GX deck? I'm, I'm as soon as Raichu GX comes out, I'm making it. But it's gonna be Raichu GX Magnezone, Magnezone with um with Raichu. I like that a lot. Just like it, overall, Raichu Magnezone is good right now. But combine that with Raichu GX, you just got a better deck. This is this is an, an extremely old. yeah this post rotation format right now if they can keep it like this and not add anything crazy broken we're gonna have a really really healthy format um but yeah here's this let me show you guys my galissapod deck that i've been working with today um so imagine that these are the gx's and the hollow the hollow version is just the regular art i have to play the regular art because things like koopa uh from shining legends are coming and then nine tails is annoying as well the um the safeguard nine tails or aurora veil nine tails whatever it's called so having a regular art attacking pokemon is really really good i decided to combine it with lorantis although one thing i'm definitely i definitely want to do now before i forget is i want to cut it down to a 2-2 line i tried it with 3-3 line today and it was good today was a really good day of testing it and ended up and it turned out it played really well excuse my language it played really well today so i don't think you need the 3-3 line i was thinking about adding another scoop up because the scoop up was just really good and just another energy so this would be the deck I played after testing it today. But Octillery, um, Octillery, Galissapod was really good for me. Um, post rotation, I think this is like the best way to play it. Um, what did I not like? There was nothing I didn't like about the deck. I played it for a long time. My my opponents have played it against me for a while. I always felt like I had to be on my toes. I had to get ace rolls at every moment of time. Um, I don't. I wanted to drop a grass, but I just found that eight grass after playing it today with eight grass for DCE, perfect number. I didn't like seven. I liked eight. Uh, it means I always had one. I was always comfortable, and I could always load up a Lele as another attacker. Uh, I know you don't need that many energies, but I found myself just being very comfortable with that many energies. And there's night. What else do you really add to the deck? You just add more item cards that are just gonna clunk up your hand with artillery. Necrozma, yeah, Necrozma Metagross deck is going to be really good. I like Necrozma a lot, especially since it's a Drample blocker. Um, dumbbells are extremely clutch. I was thinking about Dumbbells... Uh, I was playing against Gardevoir today, right? Gardevoir hardly ever got a knockout from full, and we were always at full HP. Um, Choice Band is so good. Um, I don't know what deck I would like that extra HP for post-rotation. Because... If I name off all the decks that I just wrote down, that I just listed, um, this deck beats Greninja very easily. 
Uh, it has a decent time against Metagross as long as they don't get every Max Potion ever. Or not Max Potion, um... Um, no, Max Potion, yeah. As long as they don't get every Max Potion every turn, we should be okay. Um... Why is this, why is this happening? Work. Everything needs to work. Hold on, there we go. We had 27 likes too. Shout out to you guys. Um... Where's the thing I just wrote down? Yeah, it has a really good matchup against Guardi. Just because, like, you have early setup and it's really good. Um... Ninetales matchup is... I haven't played it against Ninetales yet, so I actually don't know how well it does against Ninetales. But... Uh, Ninetales has a hard time hitting 210 now because they can't rely on Kukui like they used to. So there's that. Unless you're, unless you're playing a heavy Kukui list, which I don't think is good. After playtesting, I don't like Kukui at all in Ninetales anymore. I just took it out completely. Um, Lapras, once again, they can't knock you out unless they play Kukui as well. Maybe that's better in Lapras. I'm not too sure. Coco, they can't knock you out. If they didn't get a knockout from full, something went wrong. It's absolutely not true. Because to get a knockout from full, you need to have six energies and a choice band. And if you're you're really aggressive with with um with uh with Galissapod, because you're constantly hitting them before they can evolve. Because you're hitting 120. So like turn two, uh, like he he barely had a chance to get out Gardevoirs. By the time he did get out Gardevoirs, he only had one or two at a time, which is not enough to fully set up a Gardevoir. Because that, that they can only they can only attach a maximum of four energies that turn DCE and two and two fairies, so trust me, bro. Like I beat it myself because I was able to play around it when I played Gardevoir versus Glispod, but it's not as easy as you as you think it is. Nothing in this format's easy anymore. It's all really. Hold on, I think my mom's calling me. I'll be right back, guys. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, Patrick, but you're like, you play like a Patrick. I need to play test against you. I play Guardian extremely well. I don't know, man. Like, you're pretty cocky about a lot of things, so I don't know. Um, I used to play random games with Space Work, play some Overcooked. When he comes back, we're going to be playing more. Uh, but let me know about Overcooked, and I'll look it up. Hit me up on Discord later in like the end of the month, because he comes back in the end of the month. Literally set up at least two. Yeah, but so did everybody else. That's not the issue. Like, setting up two is fine. You need, like, three <laughs> if you want to have a good game against Felicipod where it's, like, dominating. Because, like, even if they set up... Dom even if they dominantly set up, um, you're able to 2 KO Guardies, which means they always... They have to constantly Ace Arolo their Gardevoirs, or they have to make sure they never put down Lele's because you easily Oko Lele's. Uh, but this is my deck list, and I'll show you guys Gardevoir as well. We have three dislikes too, man. Hold on. No, I want to actually save these. This Strongest GX is broke. Is it really? What's, what's going on with Strongest GX? Um, let me go to Guardi. Um, this is what I play for Guardi. I'm, this is the, I'm still iffy on the deck. I really like Deancey. <laughs> I found it working for me a lot in games. Um, maybe I just got, I think I got lucky though. I don't think that was actually anything to do, do with, um, do with my, do with how good Deancey is. So I'm thinking about taking out Deancey. What did I, there's something weird because in the deck list I played today, I didn't have, I had, I had rescue stretch. I didn't have rescue stretch in the deck and I don't know what I accidentally replaced with it. Um, oh, what's, what's Snorlax? Why is Snorlax broke? What does Stonex even do? I forget. Um, no, whatever. <laughs> Anyways. Um, 
Anyways, so what was I saying? Uh, what, what did I like? Oh, and I like the Ace. Oh, I played a third Ace Arola over a Rescue Stretcher. Uh, this was an accident, I think, but it worked out when recording because I never use a Rescue Stretcher. When I wanted to use a Rescue Stretcher, I didn't really want to use a Rescue Stretcher. Um, I liked Ace Arola in the deck with a 3 Curly and 4 Rare Candies. So I was always able to evolve the next turn into another Gardevoir, like every single time, or at least a Curlia. Um, the line, I like the Pokemon line a lot. At first, I was kind of iffy on the Curlia. I think I might drop the Ansi for a Rescue Stretcher, or maybe even a ninth Energy, because I like having a bunch of energy. Um, Gardevoir's GX attack really comes in clutch and shuffling things back in late game. Catch me outside. What did I say? I said whatever. What did I say whatever about? I, you made it. I don't know what you said about you made it awkward. I, I don't know what you meant. I, I was too busy being distracted. I don't play Ace Rolla. Probably should though. Ace Rolla is clutch, bro. Especially in this matchup. In, it's the thing that beat that wins your games against Galispot. Because you will lose your games against Galispot without Ace Rolla. Like straight up. Because they 2 KO you every single time without any boosted damage because they hit 120. And then, like, you have a hard time KOing them back. But the cool thing about Ace Rolla and Gardevoir is that when you use Ace Rolla, if you have Gardevoirs down, you can use your ability to attach energies as well as attach a, ma a DCE manually. So I found myself, like, going, having three, Ace three Gardevoirs on the field, using the Gardevoir's ability to attach to one of my Gardevoirs on the bench, Ace Rolling the damage one because it's usually at 200. It's always, it always takes 190 damage from, my, from the opponent's Lorantis and Choice Band. So I use Ace Rolla. Put the damage Gardevoir back into my hand, all right? Manually attach the DC that was attached to that one, as well as use my other two Gardevoirs on the bench to attach the energies that were on my Gardevoir and to a new Gardevoir, and then have that one revenge it because that one has six energies on it. Um, so I found its role to be vital in this deck. Uh, I know Devin, the one who was playing it with me, was not very sure about playing three Curlias. I liked it. I liked it with Deancey as well. I don't know, I have to play it without Deancey and without a third Curlia to see how much I like it there. But this is definitely the deck I played today and really, really like today. So you play it like you play Splash, except during your turn, pretty much, yeah. Is Orbom spinning bars while describing decks? Dude, always. Real talk, if all the mods fight each other, pretty sure Pet would destroy all of us. <laughs> I can't have a fighting experience, I'll break your wrist. <laughs> I'll break your wrist. <laughs> yeah, but those are the decks I have right now. Um, let me save this as well before I forget. Um, before I forget, let me read this chapter that Nebby has to send me. Uh, let me check my messages with Nebby. It should still be there. But I'm going to read this chapter real quick like... And then we'll move on to maybe some pack openings. We've hit a pretty good number of likes today, so we might just do a giveaway as well. Um, let me find chapter five. The final chapter, the final chapter. I believe chapter five is the final chapter, so we're gonna read it. Okay. Okay, when will rotation be announced? Chapter five. <clears throat> Whew. All right. Worst moderator in Cranium had been waiting since Saturday for rotation to be announced. Because if Breakthrough was rotated out, then Baseball Junior would strike and Worst Mod would have to tumble on him. I hope rotation is announced soon, said Worst Moderator. I printed these proxies of Guzman and I want to start practicing the next standard format. I hope he's delayed as long as possible because Baseball Junior is one of the most powerful forces in the world, said Cranium. Hey, it's not like it will attack now, right? Just as Armin said this, a large titan appeared and broke a hole in a wall Maria. Move strong anime. I meant to say, just as word mod verse moderator said this, Baseball Junior appeared in an apartment building. Oh god, said Cranium. Card 160 of 162, Psychic Type, 210 HP, and the attack Psychic Infinity, and it's a full art. It's tumble time. <laughs> Author's note, I'm quite scared that when I type tumble, it attempts to autocorrect the tumbler. Send help. <laughs> Pukumuku, roll out. Enter dramatic music here. All of a sudden, people move again, tumbling towards Baseball Junior. All of them died, except for the best, the powerful, worst moderator. 30 damage, 60 damage, 90 damage, 120 damage, 150 damage. Oh no, a Tails. Ha, you failed, worst moderator, shouted Baseball Junior. 
you forgot you forgot to announce for my you forgot to account for my choice fans that were smarter at it and the professor Kukwe played earlier this turn god fool you still haven't finished me i am 10 more hit points and it's my turn no matter i have you right where i want you i evolved trubbish in the guard door shadow base while junior i have no item cards in my discard pile not that guard door the one from breakpoint <laughs> <laughs> no shadow worst. And now I Oko you a second Fetty, and since your ability locked, you can't use innards out on me. Meaning I've won. No, I can't lose the worst moderated. As a tear ran down his eyes. Ha, second Fetty from Naka. Ha, you forgot one thing. Said so Pikachu has revealed he, he somehow has a second tool attached. Bursting balloon. Now you have six more damage counters that will be attached to you, I guess. What? You cheated. If I've learned one thing in life, it's that cheaters always win. <laughs> Well, if you can't, if you can cheat, I cheat as well. I, I ate three big masadas, eating 60 damage from me, meaning that the bursting balloon is now useless. Well, then I play crushing hammer and I discard the DC attached to you. Meaning you can't knock me out unless you attach a DC. There and they are all in the discard. Gas, it's a prize baseball junior. This can't be. Now I finish you off. Even if I flip tails, I have a choice band attached. By the way, I use field blowers. The baseball junior. Dang, said the uh, worst. Well, I still believe in the coin flips. One tails. Ha. Now I attach an energy. It's your turn again, shot baseball junior. Worst, <laughs> attach the fighting fury bow and then flip tails. Fighting fury bow. What a severely outdated card, said baseball junior. But now you can't knock me out without a Professor Kukui or that obsolete Giovanni scheme, said worst. I play Shrine of Memories and use damage change. Worst fall to the ground and cranium rush to help. This is a long chapter. <laughs> Apparently, hold on. Mr. Friday is saying Shaman. They just announced Shaman GX. Of course he is. I don't believe that for a second. Anyways, the winds feel so nice at Cranium. This is my final time experiencing spring, but this spring season will eventually pass. After fighting alongside you and facing the world's end, I finally began to understand what it means to live. Thinking for yourself, not running away, accepting the inevitable. All things eventually come to an end. Every living day will one day disappear. Only by accepting this can one discover the tr what they truly want. <clears throat> what the meaning of their life will be. I understand now why I was tormented by a lack of strength. Protecting others became more than an order I have to stay. I have to... More than an order I have to obey. I want to do it for my own reasons. I realized this once I tried to prevent the fall when I thought I'd never see you again. Something else became clear to me. What I wanted the most. What I wanted most. And so I made up my mind. I decided that I would continue to protect you. I want to be your strength. I know I'm the... I know I'm not the only one who can do this. But that's okay. My life will be worth living just for this reason. Thank you. It'll be okay, said a worse mod. You're right, what am I doing? I understand now, so I should be happy. I realize now that I have friends as well. <sighs> you don't have to save the world to, f to find meaning in life. Sometimes all you need is something simple, like someone to take care of. I'll go. On, I'll keep on living no matter what, so I can protect you. Thank you for everything. You must be tired. Please get some rest. I'll stay here with you soon. All your friends will be here by your side, because I will always be on your side. Whew. Can you begin to transform? He became Whiff, then the turtle, then the boy with the bucket. Then he finally settled in one form, him, or bomb, or bomb, A, B. Oh boy, oh boy! Thank you, Nebby, for that story. Apparently, that was my story. Oh, come on! You know I got you. I almost convinced myself. No, bro. <laughs> Matthew, tumbling is only in bed. <laughs> What's up, guys? All right, so let's go ahead and open up a couple of that lock those lock packs I got earlier. Um, what other deck should we build? I don't know. I don't know what else I want to build, to be honest. I'll get you a new bag. It's the new Dillard's bag. <laughs> uh, what's up, Dak Gother, by the way? Same bomb is live. We are here. Well, apparently I have not opened a lot of this set either. Venomoth. Good card. Let's see what's going on here. Quaternary GX War Bomb. You right. Hey, another one of these Deancies that don't do anything. Where'd <sighs> Nebby go? Oh, we got Bal Compressor. How many of these do we have? 11. Put these for trade. People like Compressors. And leave any. What a garbage opening session. Build Tapu Fini for Worlds Format? <laughs> How would you do that? Like, how would you even, like, if you want to build, like, straight Tapu Fini, like, Max Elixirs, Aqua Patches, um, Gold Bats with Super Scoop Ups, I guess? Like, what else would you do? I stole Cranium's final speech from Persona 3 since I was playing Persona 3 before writing this. Oh, I see. 
I was wondering why it was so pretty. <laughs> Hmm. Patches and puzzles. I mean, 120 damage just isn't enough. You can 2 KO things on the bench, I suppose. Oko Shamans. That seems interesting. I mean, I would just play like Lapras. Lapras. It would be just like straight Lapras, Feeny. Like 3 Lapras, uh, 2 Feeny. Um, damage. <laughs> 3 Lapras, 2 Feeny damage. With up uh, with exactly what you said, puzzles and uh, the other thing, puzzles and uh, patches and stuff like that. I might play it for fun though. That seems like a fun little deck to play. Um, what else can we do here? I'm thinking, what other deck should we build, guys, for this po for like post rotation from from this next set? I don't know what else I want to play. Build a Krozma GX, Tapu Lele, Tapu Koko, Espeon EX. Build a Krozma GX, Tapu Lele, Tapu Koko, Espeon EX. Oh, you mean the new Tapu Lele? That, does that come out the I think, does that come out the same day as a set? I like the idea, but you're using one GX attack. I, I'm gonna do it for sure. I guess I could play like max elixirs with that. I'm just not sure how good that is. I like that idea though. I'm gonna write that down. We're getting a Shining Legend Jirachi. That's the same thing as um as that deck. So pretty excited about. Well, it's the same thing as Espeon, I mean. So I'm gonna be trying that out. Let's go back to the uh, thing. First of all, I gotta fix this. It's been kind of annoying. How do I fix this? What's my best way of doing this? I guess this works to an extent. Yeah. I don't like how small everything is, but whatever, we'll make do. Um, what's interesting in this set? I want to look at these GXs while we're here. Take a look at what's good and what isn't good and what we could build with. This file pump scares me, by the way, guys. I don't know about you guys, but it scares me. I'm going to actually, you know what? Just for this video, I'm going to disable the chat. Because it's kind of in the way. It's bothering me. Um... How do you build how do you build Charizard? I don't think you build Charizard until we get the Shining Legends Celebi or Jirachi, whichever one it is. Build a Lolan Radicate. I like a Lolan Radicate. I'm actually excited to play that. Um we'll get to it when we get to it. Ho oh is really good in Volcanion. It's like the only good card it belongs in. There's no other deck it's for right now. Now I can't see what I typed Orbomb. So it's typed Orbomb with dude. What the hell dude? <laughs> it's fine. I think it'll be okay this Friday. Oh, give me one second, guys. I'm messaging someone. All right. Good stuff. You done? Dope. All right. Back to this. Oh, I want to play Salazzle, but I don't know what to play Salazzle with. Because his attacks are interesting, right? Like, uh, Diabolical Claw, 50 damage. Uh, attack this 50 damage times the number of prize cards you've already you've already taken. So like if you're winning the game, boom. <laughs> I suppose. This one is better than Jirachi. Watch PCG Radio, you nerd. Uh, first of all, shut up, Nebby. Espeon is better because it's a one energy attacker, but it's still a two prize attacker. It's a one energy, yeah, it's a one energy attacker, but it's a two prize attacker. And if you're playing max elixirs anyways, um, in that deck you're better off playing. In, in the version that we were just talking about, we're better off playing then instead of Espeon. If you can't see, how do I know what I wrote? And some GX might be fun with Ho. Yeah, it's gonna be fun with Ho. And I'm gonna play it, but it's just not gonna be good. You know what I mean? Cause like, you're gonna Kiawe to GX attack. Then you're going to attach an energy and then eventually you're gonna Kiawe to like attack with Incineroar later. And uh, I don't know how much, I don't know how much I like it. 
So that's the GX Salazzle for the good numbers. So Heat Blast is 140 um, with Choice Band, and then you would 30 extra damage, so you hit 170. I guess that's decent. That's probably the best way to play it, if anything. Because you want to hit those numbers. At the very least, you can 2 a KO. Super Scoop Up is good in this deck. Out of the lid. Anything that anything that can play Super Scoop Up should play Super Scoop Up because it's a good card right now. Um, so Super Scoop Up with it. Uh, you play like, what, a 3-2 line of Salazzle? 3 GXs, 2 the other one, so you have an attacker. Diabolical Claw as the game goes on. Once you take 3 prizes, you hit for 150, and after that you just win the game, right? So I want to play Salazzle GX. Let me write this down. Honest opinion on Quad Tornado? I don't like it. It's Seems bad. Um, let's see, Salazzle GX, Salazzle, scoop up. This seems like the best way to play the deck if I were to play the deck. Trash is good because you can deal damage and bring stage 2 Pokemon down to basic so there's more options. Choice Band hitting SP on GX and knocks it out when it becomes EV, pretty much. I like him more, to be honest. We got Turtonator here. Hold up, let me DM more or something. <laughs> uh, attach Fire Energy from Disco Pile to this Pokemon, whatever. Uh, this Ninetales, I am in love with this Ninetales. First of all, that art is beautiful. Look at that artwork. That girl, that, she got her hair did. She got her hair did. And look at that her. She's looking great. Lumia's effect, barrier, prevent all effects of attacks, and damage to this Pokemon, barrier opponents, Pokemon EX and GX. So we're immune. I'm gonna be playing Dark Ray XGX when it's released with Skyfield and Junk. Yeah, it's good for it. That's good until World is over. Uh, I feel like you spat in my face, Aura. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't think I'm sorry. Like, why play that when you can play Volcanion? Which is what which is what bothers me right now about Fire decks, right? Because why play something fun when you would just play a better deck like Volcanion? That's and I hate that. That's why I hate Volcanion so much. I'm not too sure how I feel about Kingdra. King just seems like a good card, right? If you guys don't know, Brian stack doesn't any damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon that has any damage counters on it uh, for one energy. And then Tornado shots 50 to 90 damage, just got a one energy attached to this Pokemon, attack this 30 damage to one of your opponent's po bench Pokemon. So, like, you do 90 to the active, 30 to the bench, all for, and this is all for one energy. The problem is that it's, <laughs> it's 140 HP, so it's not exactly a tanky Pokemon. So it's easy to knock out, and that sucks because you can't it's not the kind of card that's easy to, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, easy to cycle, like you can constantly have a new one out because it's a stage two. So I'm not too sure how I feel about Kingdra. Somebody let me know how you think would be the best way to play it. For me, it's just like heavy rescue stretchers, heavy rare candies, heavy evolution. I would play like a 4-4-4 four, four, four line, but still with four rare candies, four rescue stretchers, uh, energies, and just do what I can. But 90 is just not enough damage. Like, it's just not... <laughs> Yeah, and that's another thing. Nick said it best, right? Like, Kingdra is good, but you might as well play Greninja. Like, you just might as well play Greninja. You don't have to switch constantly. You can attack turn 2 for 190 with hands with hardly any setup. Yeah, but you could do the same thing with Volcanion because you have Kiawe now. And then you can hit for big damage because of Volcanion's ability. And you have Ho-Ho. Ho hits for 190 without Choice Band. 220 with choice band and once again just Kiawe with Volcanion. That's why Volcanion is so much better now because you have Ho-Ho. Ho is so strong with Volcanion. Tapu Fini is not a card I'd build a deck around. Um, maybe I play that Coco Lap or Fini Lapras deck I was just talking about but Fini seems like a lot of fun. Tapu Storm is a strong card. I remember I played it in my game against uh, a Greninja player. I was Ninetales versus Greninja and I have a one of Fini in my Ninetales deck and I just shuffled the entire break line back into the deck with Tapu Fini when everything got out of hand and then he couldn't do anything and I won the game from there. Bill Slow King with Floor Plumeria. That's what I want to do actually. I was talking, I was thinking about that earlier. I'm going to write that down. Slow King Floor Plumeria. Aren't Muscle Dumbbells needed for 210 HP GXs? No, I don't think so. Because hitting 210 is still hard to do. It's not easy to OKO. But it's like, becoming 250 HP, you're still probably going to get 2 a KO'd. Alright, Turtle. See you around, bro. 
So Fiend seems like fun. Raichu's cool, but with Guzman, the format, switching is easy, so I don't like Evo Shock. What's this do? 60 minutes, it has attack 6 more damage if Tails does 20 damage to itself. So you can do 120 damage for 3 energies. Not enough damage. It is not enough damage. Electra, Dark Clamp, 50 cent Pokemon can't retreat. High energy cost for not something that's great. Both home Volcano have drawbacks when attacking. That's true, but you also play Tartanator in Volcanion already. <laughs> yeah, no, I like I like Slowbro. I was talking I was talking about it earlier. I don't know if you were here, but I'm a huge fan of this card. 110 damage? Like you can attach choice band and you do 140 damage and you get rid of energies with Plumeria and you know it's not and you play like you play Octillery if you need to and then you just choose not to draw with Octillery but you have it down so that you can draw a big hand if need to if you need to I mean um, Ultra Balls and Plumeria are your best bet as far as discarding cards I like Wobbuffet. I think Wobbuffet with that one stadium could be fun. I'm trying to figure out what I want to play Viper with because there's not really a point in playing Viper with um, Toxapex. First of all, Toxapex is still not good. It's hard to set up Toxapex. And then you're already doing a plenty of poison damage with uh, Viper. There's a, I believe, a Toxicroak card that could be fun with with uh, Viper, But the energy cost are, is a little bit too high. Dust Noir has Mind Jack and the ability Dark Invasion. It's okay, I guess, because you can put down Lele's before they put down Lele's, and then you can force your damage to do more, but it's still Psychic Double Colorless for like a stage two that's not a lot of HP. So I'm on the fence about the about the Dust Noir. I talked this all in my video recently that went up. <sighs> Toxic Croak is decent. Build Crabominable? I think I think Crabominable's gonna be fun. I don't think it's gonna be good. People think it's gonna be good. I don't think it's gonna be good. But I think it's gonna be fun. Poison Jab, this 30 damage, they're poison, so 30 plus four means they're taking 80 damage because you're doing an extra 50 if you have four um, survivors now which is very unlikely but it's an option but it's still two energies to do that so i'm not a big fan of it scolipede is lame meowstick is lame so, like the 10 damage times the number of cards in your hand that could be fun but there's not very many options to let you draw a lot in this format necrozma's is great uh necrozma isn't great in it by itself i don't think it's a good deck on its own but with metagross it's really good Machamp is interesting. I want to play Machamp. I don't know how I'm going to go about playing Machamp besides standard carving Machamp because when it comes to fighting type decks, it's like your only option. Build Heat More Disruption with Flutini. What does Heat More do? Let's go back to Heat More before we uh, move on. I believe Heat More is fun if I remember correctly. It's a really interesting card. Heat More. Flip two coins for each. For each heads, put a card from your discard pile into your hand. Um, 6 damage point X Pokemon is now burned. Oh, I see. Disruption because you can put energy, because you can put cards back into your hand with Flipteenie. That's kind of interesting. It's definitely something worth trying out. Um, as far as Machamp goes, its attacks are okay. Um, let me write down Heat More Disruption before I forget. Because I want to play, play all the decks. Heat More Disruption. There's a lot of possible decks that come out of this. Not as many as Guardians Rising, but it's, you know, it's there. Uh, Boulder Break is only 130 damage, which is not great. You still have strong energies, of course, which means you can bump it up by a good amount, but it's not good enough. And this retreat cost is like three, so, ugh. Machamp cards are always not great, which is very sad, because I love Machamp. Rhyperior, Rhyperior, Charizard Mill. Boom, let's get this money. <laughs> oh man, it's pretty bad. Ooh, I got me a Japanese copy of these cards today. Shoutouts to Joseph for really hooking a man up today. Um, you can play this card from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon. You may prevent all effects of opponent's attack, including damage onto this Pokemon until the end of your opponent's next turn. Uh, which is really cool, because I'm going to be playing Lucario with bats, probably. And Super Scoop Up, because if you evolve any Pokemon, you're immune to damage. So if you can... <laughs> if you can get away with doing that... It's hard for them to play... Uh, Escape Rope Guzma, because nobody's playing Escape Rope anymore because of Guzma. It's an option, but this is deck is nobody's going to be really doing that. Which means they're going to be knocking out things like what's it called in the bench, which doesn't matter to me. Um, so Lucario is definitely the thing I want to play. I don't know what else I would pair with it though. Like Salazzle, maybe? This doesn't seem good though. I'd rather play uh, Bats. So I guess Salazzle can poison the active, but I'd rather spread damage around. And you're hitting for 120. So if you combine that with strong energies, you're hitting for a lot of damage already. Let me write that down. 
Lucario bats. So it's just a revamp of the old Lucario bats. The art for Lucario, yeah, Lucario's artwork is beautiful. Look at it. Look at him. Look at him. He's dope. I love Lucario. Crabominable is really cool. 180 damage, that uh, yada yada, 80 damage, pretty much for no drawback. With a strong energy, it's one, it's 100. Choice bin, it's 130. Red Rocks, I don't like Red Rocks. I don't like Red Rocks in the deck, but Red Rocks down, you can increase it even more. More strong energies means more damage. Overall, really good card, um, <clears throat> but it's not that great. Low HP, still stage one. It's still stage one, and it's the uh, I don't know. The, it's you're not getting Okos most of the time. And it's weak to garb, which is never great. Oh, we got this like rock too. This is from the thing. This is a new artwork apparently. This new Mudsdale, which I you already know I'm gonna pull a million of these and I'm gonna be upset about it. Mar Shadow is cool and as a staple in some decks, or a tech in some decks, not a staple. Like Garbodor and Cocos and Dark Rise. It's gonna be fun in those decks. Here's the Alolan Eradicate. An energyless attack. Reinforce Fang, if this Pokemon has a tool card attached to it, this attack is 50 more damage. So you can do 60 damage with while having a Choice Band attached to it, which ups you up to 90 damage. 90 damage, 2 AK is a lot of things. It's okay, I guess. Um, so you can play an Energyless deck. You can play... What do you play with that, though? Like Disruption? Like Disruption Eradicate? Stop fanboying over the card. We get it. You're gay for him. Get to the Fuller Ladies already. <laughs> Thanks, Devin. Uh, of course, we already talked about Muck today. We already we already built a deck. Weavile's so cool, bro. Dark Awakening attack does 60 damage to every Pokemon play that has an ability. It just three at KOs Lele's without them even being active, which is dope. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of abilities in the format. You can hit you can hit Gardevoirs, Glades, Octillaries. Um, what else? Is that? What else? What else? The abilities. Mm, those are the first things that come to mind because I played them earlier today. Uh, Greninja Breaks have abilities, you can hit those. Of course, there's always this Lele's, uh, there's Garbodors, things like that, it's pretty dope. Darkrai GX, I don't know what deck I'm going to play Darkrai in. I mean, obviously I'm playing in, I'm playing a one of in that Muck deck I talked about. I don't think Darkrai Salazzle is good. People, people have been playing Darkrai Salazzle, what's the point? Because your dead end GX is only going to be used one time that whole game. Why play that way? Why, why play it that way? I played Dark Ryan Speed Dark, maybe a one or two of, since the bench base is never going to be that big, anyways. Um, I love Weavile. Weavile is really cool. Um, Malamar is whatever. Move all your energies to one of your bench Pokemon. Dark yes. Energy Slosh, interesting. Of course, we have the really, really good Gardevoir card. Build Marshadow Plume Box. You, but you can't. Uh, you, I mean, in the new rotation, you can't because Vile Plume's being rotated out. But it's interesting, right? I like the NC and Fairy decks. Rimbombi is absolutely not necessary. I have to think about throwing Rimbombi in. Absolutely not. Glad I didn't. Um, what's pin? Why do we have a non Alolan Persian? That's interesting. Mm, oh, one energy. This will be good. In, this will be good in previous, right? They screech. They take 60 more damage next turn. Then you slash for 40. That's interesting. Porygon Z devolved things, so it's not great. Night Raid is whatever. Hmm. Another Beware, because apparently we have a Beware in every set. Look at this. Always with the Bewares. My girl Acerola. Escape Rope being reprinted. It's ya boy. And then there's a. Kiawe. And then there's Lana. I know Joseph's happy about that. I have a deck idea. Get suggestions for trimming. I have a deck idea. I have a deck idea. Got suggestions for trimming in the Discord lobby. What's in the lobby? Raikou, Magnemite, Magazon, Pikachu, Raichu, Lele. 14, Stadiums, 3. I would just take out the Stadiums altogether if you're going to be playing Raichu. Because they're only there, because the, the stadium only works on the Raikou. So I don't think it's even worth playing at that point. Hmm. I think you take out that with one Clement, and then you are good. That will give you the minus four that you need, uh, Joseph. 
Beware the beware. I just think I think TPCI just a, just trying to appeal to Ross at this point. Pretty much. Five wassies. Yo, Aura. Still no stupid joke. I have to sing run out of ideas, bro. Just talk to talk to Nebby. He'll tell you everything you need to know. This is my first time seeing the regular art for Olivia. You notice how in the anime she doesn't have any boobs, but in this card she totally has boobs, and I don't know what the anime is doing. Mount Lanakila might be fun. I don't know. Maybe in that Wobbuffet deck with uh, Alolan, Alolan, Alolan Ductrio. No full arts Lana or Olivia. Yeah, we don't have a full. We don't even have a full art Lana print in general, like not in Japan or anything. We do have it for Olivia, but that's probably gonna come in the next set. Poe Town is broken. Plumerina is good. Plumeria, I mean, Sophocles is bad. The artwork is cute though. I like the artwork. It's actually really. I like the artwork a lot. Just chilling in his lab. Discard two cards if you do draw four. It's not good. Torment spray is bad. We have a weakness policy reprint. What's this look like? Hmm. I like the way that looks actually. I like the purple. We have wish baton, and then we have our full arts. We have we have our tapu bulu, and we have lichen rock. So those are our promos. Getting full arts. <clears throat> no full art Charizard because it's coming in a set. It's coming in a box. I mean, we have all of our full art trainer cards. Sophocles as well. So I was right in my prediction of no of not getting Olivia, but getting all these others. So I was a good that was a good call on my part. And then we have no hyper rainbow rare Ho Oh because that's coming in a promo box, but we have everything else, so that's pretty good. Um, and we have our one, two, three, four, five, six secret rares, seven, eight, nine secret rares if you count the energies. So I'm gonna have to give me three of these, which is frustrating. <laughs> probably just one of these. I'm probably never gonna play it. Well, at least not now. One escape rope. Uh, one of those just for the collection. I don't know. There's not many decks I play two rescue stretches in, so I might just focus on getting one for the time being. But I want to get four of these. So that's going to be the hard part. Fairy, I don't really care about these energy types. Um, I guess fairy, in case Tokikis ever becomes big, I should probably grab that. Um, so I should probably get a bunch of those. But those are going to be the most expensive because this is the first time they're printing a special fairy energy besides, uh, what was it, Generations? Sophocles is broken and Darkrai EXGX. I don't know if it's broken. <laughs> I'd rather play Plumeria, to be honest. I, I, get, I get it. Our boobies PG now, pretty much, right? Would you rather do Zora Glispot or Glispot Lorantis? I'd rather do Glispot Lorantis. Lana's mom is stacked. <laughs> it's true. Uh, Sophocles is more beast than my Latin teacher from a year ago. My god, 41 total secret rares. Lana heals the damage from each of your Pokemon with any water energies attached to it. So the plan is to get an Alolan water mag zone to heal up. <laughs> Facts. Alright, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Alright, 9 there. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So 22, so far, hyper rares are better. That's insane, because those are going to be incredibly hard to pull. Stop there. 22, so now we have 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41 full arts are better. <sighs> I hate this set. I hate Pokemon for doing this to me. Uh... So plans again alone water magazine. Oh, pretty much. Anyways, I think we're gonna end the stream there, guys. I have to do a little bit of work and try to record this video for you guys for tomorrow. And I have to also be awake in six hours. So thank you guys all so much for watching. Drop a like if you have not already. Subscribe, share all that good jazz. Um I'm gonna actually rename this deck to uh, rename this video while I'm here before I forget, because I know I forget. Um to um but this new format is dope. Let's. How about I'm just, I'm just gonna do um. Test. Test. Um. Building some burning. Sha shadow. Deck list. There we go. There we go. I like Sophocles as a one of. I don't like it at all. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, I might play it as a one of. And because I don't want to play three ends or four ends in all my decks, I don't like end that much. 
So it might be interesting as a one-off, because drawing four and discarding is always... Because discarding is always good. Like, it's never not good. It's never not bad discarding. Also, hold on. I forgot to do this. Go back to the thing. This is... Here it is. There we go. Four versus your cards for Japan? Pretty much. You hate Pokemon, we all get it. It's a fact. Um... Anyways, regardless, drop a like, guys, subscribe, share all the good jazz. I have got to go. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace.